Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you one of my little projects with uh, this netbook. This is an Acer Aspire 1. It's uh, one of those early uh, inexpensive uh, notebooks that runs an Intel Atom CPU. This came originally with Windows XP and this unit has uh, the extended battery installed so it looks a little bit bulky in the back but it's, it's a nice little compact case. As you can see, it's a little package that has VGA out. It's got an um, Ethernet port here, USB, audio, and an SD card reader. Uh, on the other side, it has the uh, AC adapter charge port right there. And it has two USBs. Um, what else? In the back. Things are easy to access. You can have you have the the um, hard drive underneath this this cover and uh, RAM underneath this cover. I believe this one has a uh, uh, wireless adapter in there, uh, but I'm, I'm, I may be wrong about that one. I haven't opened that cover. And um, I want to show you what I did with this particular unit. I wanted to see if I can make this into a retro gaming laptop and I tried installing DOS 7.0 um, to see if I could get drivers for but for the sound working on this but it has one of those AC97 um, uh, you know uh, Windows only sound cards and getting drivers for them that work on their DOS um, proved to be very difficult. Um, there might be ways that you can do that. I know that there's a USB um, DOS driver out there, uh, but that's mostly um, uh, to set up external uh, CD-ROM drives or flash drives um, so you can access them from DOS as a disk. I couldn't find it any drivers that were using that interface for uh, creating sound. And this laptop unfortunately doesn't have any parallel port, so I can't just install uh, one of those parallel port uh, ad-lib cards to have a, a true native DOS experience. So what I did instead was I installed um, Lubuntu Linux on this, and I'm using DOSBox. And it actually performs really well. So I'm gonna go with, over it um, with you. I'm gonna load it up and uh, then we'll um, try some of the benchmarks and games that I have installed here. All right, so let's get started. And we're up. So uh, on this screen, you can see the uh, Linux desktop. Like I said, this is Lubuntu. And um, I'm gonna run the terminal here to see what, what the CPU information is. Um, so if I look at the, this is a dual core Atom N270 and it's running at 1.6 gigahertz uh, or 800 megahertz if it's on um, battery power. Uh, but it's, it's got two cores. It's not a speed demon by any means, but um, and it's a 32-bit CPU. And this this netbook has one gig of RAM, which for a DOS machine is more than plenty because I'm only using 16 megabytes. For running the DOS games, I'm using um, DOSBox, and I've set it up so that I mount. I first of all I start up in full screen when I load up DOSBox and I mount a folder called DOS C drive as the main drive. So, and then I have the auto exec going to C. And if I type, uh, if I check my directory on the C drive, I have uh, several things installed. I have Doom 2, I have a bunch of DOS benchmarks, I have Death Rally, Duke 3D, Heretic and Wolf 3D. So let's go to DOS Bench really quick so we can take a look at how this performs. So this is a, a DOS benchmark pack by Phil's Computer Lab and it has a bunch of things here that you can try. Um, so I was experimenting with this laptop and um, I, I, and I, I was 
playing with the speed settings for DOSBox. DOSBox allows you to uh, change the how, how much CPU time you give to DOSBox. Right now, it's in automatic mode. I, I noticed that this 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 computer performs like a it can perform up to like a Pentium 60 megahertz. So if I go to landmark here, it says that it's a four. It this computer performs like a 80 megahertz AT with a 400 megahertz um, 8287. It's a Intel 486DX with a CPU clock of 107 megahertz. Um, so the, the, these benchmarks don't really um, are, are not that accurate, but as you can see, there's there the computer performs really well according to this benchmark. If I go to system information here, uh, it says that it's a 486DX running at 54 megahertz. So the numbers here are different. It's got a uh, you know a basic VGA card, PS2, and it's got 16 megs of RAM. And if I go to benchmark CPU speed, right now it says that it's an 8486 running at 80 megahertz, and it gets about 36, 37 points. Um, but this is all in automatic mode, so it's this this benchmark is not really realistic. If I do some other benchmarks, let's do some actual benchmarks so we can compare it. Alright, so now I'm going to show you some of the games. Um, so let's start with Doom 2. So you can see the sound works really nicely. And it works really good. I'm not the best player, but... Performance is adequate. Okay. So as a portable machine for playing Doom games and things like that, does pretty well. Okay, so let's quit this. And we can go to the next game. So the next game is... We can try Wolfenstein 3D, which is less demanding than Doom, so it should do a great job with this. I'm 
this works really well and fast. for that let's try heretic okay this also runs very well faster One thing that this computer does have that I don't like is a really tiny, small keyboard. So it's very easy to press the wrong key, especially with the fact that the control, alt, and function keys are really tiny. And the arrow keys are super tiny as well. So you can easily press the wrong key. Um, it's, it isn't happening to me right now, but in the past it does happen. And. Um, um, Let's try Death Rally before we go to Duke 3D. So, Rally. This is a cool little game with some, um, like a pseudo 3D effect as well. Always impressed what, with what they were able to do back in the 90s without um, real 3D acceleration in hardware. Tech guy. Oh, right. Oh, I really like those three D. So you see, I'm just. This is a top-down view of a uh, race. Oh, oh! Something happened to my car, and it works really well. Again, I think the the issue with this game is the the person playing the game is not that good. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna exit this. Again, my goal is just to show that these games work very, very well and are performant. If you'd like to see any games that you have in mind on uh, any DOS games that you'd like for me to try here or any other applications, let me know in the comments. All right, and now the final one is Duke 3D. This is the shareware version. New game, LA Meltdown, let's rock. You can see it works fairly well. I think this is not the highest resolution, so it's definitely. No. But definitely very playable. Let me know what you think. 
if you think I should try something else, let me know. Subscribe if you like to see this kind of stuff. I, I post, I do a lot of weird experiments with uh, old hardware that, and um, I'm playing some other videos um, with this machine and other machines. Maybe I'll, I'll try again to get um, uh, Windows, Windows XP uh, installed on this machine and then try these DOS games under Windows XP to see if I can get the sound working. And, uh, and then we can compare what, what the performance difference is between DOSBox and, um, and, and native DOS, well, DOS running under Windows XP. Um, mm -hmm. Let me know if you'd like to see some of that, and uh, until next time. Thank <laughs> you.